250 Gemstones culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We are more than journalism. We are a revolution. Come on, come on, let's kick this door down and let everybody know we up in here. Yo, 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 let me see. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones Culture Channel. This is a channel that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. I got another bomb episode for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button. Pass me around, pass me around Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping these bomb videos. Also, y'all know how I feel about my chizzing. Michael, you asked if you guys want to hit the cash app. Also, check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all saying watch the whole video. We need to talk. Don't forget to hit that join button. Sign up for that membership. Got some good stuff for y'all. Leftovers. Ladies, if you are 35 and older, you are a leftover. You don't know what you're doing. You can't keep a man. You don't know what a man is. You don't know what a relationship is you don't know how to survive in a relationship and you out here alone looking crazy relying on a damn job for survival when it's going to take more than your income to survive when you get older that's the word on the street i got a couple of videos i want to play for y'all london brown from the canon star oh he's going in he agrees with kevin samuels they tag teaming on these women and they are giving these women the blues Let's watch these videos, y'all. I'm going to be right back with you, give you my opinion. Let's go. Let's go. Let's look at this mess here. This is according to icecreamcombos.com. Article titled, Bruh, Raising Cannon star London Brown says, Women over 35 with kids aren't leaving if their man cheats. Where you about to go? Where you going? You're 35 with kids. Where you going? Your husband, your husband and your boyfriend, he cheated. So what? Article written by Xavier Bryant. That's a real name. I'm pronouncing it right. Xavier X A V I E R A. What kind of name is that? Mark Twain said it's better to be to remain silent. And be thought a fool than to talk and remove all doubt. Raising Cannon star London Brown missed the memo. The actor who just got chewed up by Drea Michelle last month is still pontificating on women's business. This time London went live on Instagram to advise women over 35 with children who say they will leave a cheating man have a fairy tale in their mind. You're living in a fairy tale. Some of y'all you already over 35 you got two or three kids you talking about if your man cheat you about to leave he said where you about to go singles not bad yeah also that's the fairy tale in your mind stop playing that's not what you want to do you not being honest he goes on to continue single is cool for about a month or two after a while you're going to go you're going to want to get your back blown out london also <laughs> He said, after a month or two, you're going to want to get your back blown out. Yeah. London also challenged the women who said they would take the single life over a dating, over dating a cheating man by questioning their looks and whether or not they were in shape. Watch the clip from London Brown's Instagram live below. Wait, is this him? That's the also that's the fairy tale in your mind. Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing. You don't wanna you that's not what you wanna do. That's not you're not being honest. Single look, single is cool for about a month or two. After a while, you don't wanna get your back blown out. After a while, you're gonna wanna have some dinners. After a while, you can get tired of just hanging around your girlfriends. After a while, you're going to get tired of, of every night hanging with your kids and your cats. You're going to get tired. Y'all not being honest. Ooh, that shit nappy. You 
said no kids, but how old are you? We not even, we not even, we haven't even gone into looks. We not talking about if y'all in shape or not. You better consider all of that. Yeah, no kids is one thing, but now we got, we got to consider everything. If we talking about, if we talking about our man is looking at you. All, I'm, look, I'm not tearing nobody down. I'm just trying to help y'all to live in the truth. You mess around, get your feelings hurt. Living in this, in this fairy tale world, you gotta come to the truth. Yeah, there's peace in being single. There's also loneliness. Okay. <laughs> y'all not, not ready to be honest. Okay, I gotta go. Y'all not ready. <laughs> this nigga is wild, bro. Yeah, if you guys want to check it out, icecreamconvos.com. I'm going to meet y'all on the other side to give you my opinion. Let's go. But if you have made it to 35 years old and you're unmarried, you are a leftover woman. A leftover woman. You are what is left. Men know that there's something likely wrong with you. Whether you want to hear it or not, I'm going to just go there with you. I'm telling you the truth that you don't want to hear Men know that there is something likely wrong with Damn. you. Here's what's going to happen. If you are a woman, 35 plus, and you want a man that's uh, on the same lifestyle level, you're going to have to share it. Well, shots have been fired. Social media giant Kevin Samuels is taking aim at single women over 35 years old. You just heard what he had to say there, and now the women of Girl Talk are letting him have it for saying women 35 and over are leftovers. Damn. Girl Talk. Girl that is talk. so horrible. That's horrible. That is horrible to even say, right? I don't agree with that at all. I think there's nothing wrong with a woman that's 35 that's not married. Um... But for him to say that, I don't like Kevin Samuels, first of all. I I, I would tell you right there to your face and to Kevin if he's watching, I don't like you. Um, <laughs> wait, wait, you don't like him or you don't like me? If you like Kevin Samuels, I don't like you either, to be honest. <laughs> look, 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 look. You, I mean, just being honest, I love you, Isaiah, but if you like Kevin Samuels, <laughs> anybody, actually anybody that likes him, that's another topic. Um, I don't agree with it. A woman that's 35, I believe that if she's not married, I don't think that she's a horrible or a leftover woman. It's just doesn't make any sense. Um, period. That's all I'm going to say about it. It doesn't make any sense. All right. Maggie, let's hear from you. What are your thoughts on that? Well, first of all, thank God I'm not 35 yet. So I don't think I'm qualified. I don't think I'm qualified. But um, honestly, you know what? Um, I don't agree with it necessarily because I'm looking at it from a couple different lenses. Um, first and foremost, as a 34-year-old woman that's not married, maybe my career isn't allowing me to be married at this time. Or maybe I'm savoring and getting these juices right for marriage. Um, <laughs> Also, I like so, you that, know, the juice is right. You know what they say about leftovers? Sometimes they're much better than the day that you were first served it. So, especially if you're a pot of gumbo. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't necessarily agree with it. Um, but, I mean, I kind of, I, I don't get where he's coming from. But, at the same time, the whole sharing the man thing, um, nah, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to work. So, man, Kevin Sanders. Cause I watch a lot of Kevin Sam. These, these women are crazy. This woman's almost thirty-five with no kids. When does she plan on having kids? She said her career is doing so good. So first, you have to find a man that's going to take time. Then you have to get to know this fool. See if he's not crazy. Then you have to plan for your future. You can do some rearrangements because you won't be able to work how you're working because you have to be at home with your children at least for two years you have to give birth you can work up until i've seen women work up until the day they gave uh went to labor but you're going to need a break with your baby which means you're going to need his support and she's shown that she's never cooperated with a man at 34 she has no track record of working with a man let's let's continue a little bit more now we're going to jump into this uh, but also at 
this age, I'm also not interested in finding a specific type of man with a specific type of job. At this age, it's if you love me, then I'm going to choose who loves me. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, Karen, let's hear from you and what Kevin, Kevin Samuels had to say. Listen, for me, there's no such thing as a leftover human, period. We cannot be classifying people as leftovers. That is just rude and inhumane, and and honestly, it's just tasteless. But to say such a thing, it's comical, and he also adds that if you're over 35 and you're single, it's a red flag, and that can go both ways. I mean, you know, I didn't prioritize getting married and having kids. I'm almost 40. I prioritize my business and my mental health so I can be the best version of myself for someone. And that doesn't discount my value or my worth. And it's not a red flag. It's just how I chose to approach life. So I think it's just tasteless and, and it's a no for me, honey. Mm-mm. That double standard is real. And uh, sharing that man, women don't want to share their man, but a man has to share their woman with stepkids. Right? Ooh, let's jump into this. Let's go. Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this 250 gemstones culture commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. 35. If you're over 35 and you're not married, you don't have no man. Word on the street, there's something wrong with you. Now, in my opinion, there's many factors. There's many factors. One, there's more women than men. So we can't just say every woman who's over 35 they can't find no man to some wrong. There's way more women than men. So by that, um, you know, we gotta be fair to the women. But I think it's how they word it. I think if you over 35 and you haven't been married, they're saying there's something wrong with the woman. In my opinion, I'm gonna have to say, before I say yes or no, there's something wrong with the woman. I got to look at which culture she's from. And I think, I don't know if Kevin and London Brown were talking about all women. I think they're talking about all women now, but I know in the black community, marriage is not big at, at, in comparison to other cultures. Mexican got the Quinceanera, uh, uh, a Mexican woman, uh, Mexican girls considered a woman at 15. They, she usually start having some babies around 17. Well, she knows you get, she's a woman at 15, married at 16. Start having babies 17, 18, her and her husband. They, they, and them Mexican relationships, they be together for years. They be together for years. I've seen it. I've seen it. Uh, in the Asian culture, uh, I don't know if they still do it now, but ancient times, they used to have arranged marriages. Uh, parts of the Middle East arranged marriages because marriage was a big thing. They wanted to make sure that their kids were taken care of. Marriage was a big thing. Uh, uh, survival, economics, carrying on your bloodline in the black community is not big. So I can't say the woman is something wrong with her because if she's been influenced by black culture, how can I say she, how can I say something wrong with her if this is all she knows, right? And if she's race loyal, she's only going to date black men and black men are not busting out rings before we get to the woman how many black men are busting out rings now according to kevin a lot of black men want to get married a lot of black men don't like i don't have any kids that is true a lot of black men don't have kids for because i didn't want to have a child being broke like i want to be balling i have to be balling because the more money i have the more streams of income i have coming in the more time i can spend with my little baby i was not because these jobs work you to death so i was like hell no when i when i make it I'm just about there. When I make it, then I'm consider, you no know, having kids and doing this and doing that. But that's a long process. First, you got to find a woman. You got to find a woman that you can trust. They say 50% of uh, heterosexual black males are childless and single. That means they don't have no woman, no kid. They on their grind. We on that grind. Because, like I said, I ain't trying to bring no woman uh, into my life and I can't do nothing for her. I, when, when I have a woman, I want to take her out shopping. When I have an old lady, I want to get her nails done. I want her to look like something. Now, whether she pays for it or not, that's cool. But I want I just just knowing that I have the means to take her out to dinner, buy her some cute little heels. 
that's the type of lifestyle I want. So I understood that in order to get that lifestyle that I want, I might have to grind, I might have to get it in. I might have to seriously get it in, and it's gonna take me a little while because when you come from poverty, it's gonna take you much longer. Now, 51% of black men are single and childless, which means that's a lot of women that are not getting rings put in their face. And a lot of the, the 51% of single black men and childless, because most of us came from the hood and poverty, and we're the ones that said we're not going to continue the cycle. Right now, individually, I don't know when them niggas getting married. I know when, you know when the time is right. So in order for a woman to get married, what I'm saying is the men have to bust out the rings. So how often are black men busting out the rings? So now then another argument is, well, what a man is only going to bust out the ring if a woman is showing that she's worthy of getting the ring. It's yin and yang. After 35, um, after 35, most, from my experience, most women ain't trying to have kids. Most women. Or at least a good handful. I'm going to say most because at 35, you, uh, you're going to get closer to your 40s. And I don't know many women that's in their 40s that want to have kids. I want to have little two-year-olds behind them. When Kevin Samuels and the men break down what's going on, when you're 35, anatomy is not on the woman's side. Most women, the older a woman gets, the harder it is for her to have a healthy pregnancy, according to science. So she's not, she's 35, like I said earlier in the video, you're 35, okay, but when are you gonna start dating? Do you have a man currently? That's, if you don't have no man and you all in your career, when are you gonna get a man? So this is why they say you're leftovers because more than likely you have trauma at 35. If you don't have kids, so you probably have trauma, you got kids, you're probably a single baby mother. You're talking about women who are over 35 when that's not married. You probably got trauma, you probably got kids, and you probably have a negative outlook on relationship and what man wants that. See, as the men get older, our money gets, we start getting more money, which means we're going to want women who don't have trauma, who don't have kids, and who don't have a negative perspective about men in relationships. That's why we're going to get younger ladies. And we can mold them, we can correct them, and they're more submissive, and we can pour into them, pour our finances, our spirit, our mentality, our lifestyle. I can pour into the younger girl. She's just happy. She's just so happy just to get out of her mama house. Say a man, he's 39 and his, hey, he wanna marry a girl, she's 25, she's 24. They have 15 year difference. He's 39, she's 24. Well, 24, you probably got uh, going to college or you probably haven't decided what you wanna do with life. Yeah, it takes time. Everybody grow up their own time, but he's an older man with some money. He got a Corvette. Man got five homes. She's still young. She's still young. Um, and a lot of older men, I believe they want younger women because they have the energy to play with their children. Most, most, as you get older, your patience begins, begins to run out. When you, when a man sees a younger woman, she's more playful. She's more inspirational. A younger woman, she's, like I said, she doesn't have all that trauma. An older man with some money, they want, that's what they want. She's going to get on his program. She's going to obey him. Yeah, obey. Women don't like that word obey, but they want us to obey them. How about that? They want they don't like the word obey. No, my wife will obey me because I'm running it. I'm the man. Just like she want me to obey my commitment, not cheating. I got a whole bunch of money, but I can't look at no other bra. I can't look at nudie movies. I can't look at, I can't DM girls on Instagram. I can't do this. I, I'm, I'm obeying her, right? Make that make sense. We're supposed to obey them, but they're not supposed to obey us. They don't like that word, obey. No, you will obey me. Don't do it. This this is my program. I want you on it. A younger girl, she looks at me as a father. She's going to respect that. Not in a mean way, but like we are obeying each other. 
we are both obeying each other. But a lot of these modern women don't like that word obey because they seem like that's a dog. What well, am I a dog when I obey your request not to look at other girls and cheat on you even though I got a lot of money and all these hoes want me? I'm looking good. I'm smelling good. I put myself in a position to where I'm a wanted man. I'm charismatic. I'm the whole package. But I have to obey you and your request or I'm going to face some backlash when I get home. So I am obeying you and you will obey me. How about that? Over 35, it depends on what they're talking about. And, and usually Kevin Samuels has a long segment. It's about two to three hours. Sometimes I would say an hour to three hours of breaking down why after 35 you're left over. Trauma, kids, a negative impact, a negative outlook on men and relationships. You're done. And the fourth one, you have a track record of not cooperating with a man, working it out with a man. This out in the world alone. I don't think men who want to build a legacy want these things. But y'all flip my comments. Did London Brown from the Cannon Show, did he have a good point? Did Kevin Samuels have a good point? Do men who agree with Kevin and London Brown, are we wrong? Are they wrong? Talk to me, 250 capital G, I'm gone.